How about now? Let me know if I go in and out from between my sound and me. Sometimes it kind of glitches out and my voice kind of goes lower than the music. So just For today's stream, you guys, I will be watching tutorials on how to create landscapes and how to not only do that, but also create the animations completely from scratch. Uh, I uh, wanted to note that um, I downgraded from Unreal Engine 5 to Unreal Engine 4 because Unreal Engine 5 just came out and it's still doing um, testing. And uh, so I decided to go back to Unreal Engine 4 because it suggested to do that for if I'm doing bigger projects like creating a world, uh, creating the animations and stuff like that. So, so far I've only created health bars, I've created stamina bar, a magic bar, and that's pretty much it. And now, actually, that's not true. I also created the, the character that I'm using right now. Uh, there's not much to the character. It's just a little mannequin, like, robot type of character. Uh, so, uh, and that's what I have for my default character. That's what I'm using just right now until I get to, like, more of the design part of the character. But this is just a base, like, type of character. So let me uh, go back into Unreal Engine 4 right now. And then let me put my uh, camera on so that you guys can see me. So let me go do that. And let me go stop. Um, the starting soon. And there we go. And... Now you guys should see my Unreal Engine 4 program. So that being said, let me just put me on here. You guys should see me. Hey everybody, how's it going? So, I figured a stream for, I don't know, maybe a couple hours today, guys, a few hours. See how far I go with this today. So, we go out of 
out of here. And then what I want to do right now, you guys, is before I actually start doing all the cool stuff, I want to show you what I have done. slow but I also made it so that she can run a little bit faster and by doing that I'm using the arrow button right now to move so the arrow button is to move forward the backward button is to move um, to move backward I would use the backward button the uh, down the in down arrow button that's the word. So, and if I wanted to, if I wanted to run faster, I would press the arrow button and hold shift. So not only if I was running a little bit, if I was running faster, you should see my stamina bar go down. And how I did that, I'll show you guys in a second. So right now, if I'm just gonna keep running until it goes down. Okay, much better. I don't have to listen to myself talk. <laughs> okay, so so if I keep running and the stamina bar goes empty, it should regenerate and actually it should make me stop. So I basically made made it so that when I run. And if it goes down like it did, it should slow me down. So there we go. And if I stop moving, it should regenerate. And how I did that, I'll show you guys. So if I go into, I made a character, his, his name is Fred. That's a name that I thought of. So if I go into Fred here, and this is all what I have been working on uh, for the past few days, um, actually past few weeks. And so what I have right here is I have, I made the movement here. If I go into movement input, you should see the get control rotation. So basically if I go to project settings, I go to engine, then I go into input, and then I make uh, action mapping. Action mapping, mapping is basically uh, setting up the controls for, like, if you want to jump, I would press the spacebar button, or I would press the middle mouse button. So if I go and do that, let me go into press play. And then, actually, here's what I'll do. Let me go here and then press play so that you can see it. So if I press the space bar, you should see me have jump. I am jumping by holding the space bar right now, pressing it. And if I wanted to use a different control, I would use the mouse middle button. So I am using that right now. And so if I also go back into Fred here, I should also show you where I set that up. So I created this here. And by doing that, I right click and I go into 
birch and I I can jump I will go in here, here. This is the target of the character, so the character would be Fred. The Fred is the character. So I would also type and jump again for different type of things. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to create the action, the control. So I go into an action event, click on jump. And that's how I got this. So if I say, if I go here, and I go here, if I connect it together, actually, uh, yeah, okay, so if I go here, here, then if I do something else, I move this guy up. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to stop jump. So I'm going to type that in, and I would click on stop jump. So, I click on that, and I bring this guy here to stop jump. I would also move the release to here. And then, if I connect that together, but I'm not going to do that because I already have it. So I'm going to delete that, and so you should see that I'm going to hit compile because I don't want to mess that up, and then I'm going to hit save. So if I go back to here, and then I press play, you should see the guy jumping. So there you go, he is jumping. So if I hit the middle bar, at the middle mouse button, I will be jumping. And now if I hit the space bar, I will also be jumping there too. So, and now for the movement, what I was trying to show you guys before, so the movement is the movement input here, and then the mouse input here. So the mouse input right here, and also I added the game pad rotation. So the game pad would be my PlayStation 4 controller. So I haven't set up that part yet to connect to my PlayStation, but I have set up the controls. So let's go see for the mouse input. If I wanted to move the mouse around, I could use this here. So if I type in, let's do this, let's type in input assets and then show you what I did for the running. So, the running is um, a little bit more complicated. So, let me go back into Fred here, and then I would go to all of this. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you, I, in, I uh, right click, and then I type in Let's do, let's do it on a different part so then I won't mess it up. So, let's do right click, input, uh, okay, input action. Uh, okay. 
that's what you should do. We should type in sprint. So, sprint. 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 Sprint.
objectives, missions, um, crafting, um, and just finding blocks that you can increase your health and increase your stamina and your abilities. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go off camera and then I'm gonna go off microphone for a little while and then I'll be working on the rant. So when that loads to done, I will come back and show you what I have done. And then I will also um, go back to that and then work on more of the animation part for the character. Because what I'm also going to be doing is making a combat set. I'm going to be making some sort of combat for him. And also I want to be making a, uh, uh, another animation for when he is flying. So the character will have the ability to fly. And also right now I'm also making a crouch So if I press thingy, he should technically crouch, but I only made it so that when you want to crouch, you don't have to hold, you don't have to hold the button to crouch, you can just toggle, like you can click it, and you crouch, and if you unclick it, you go back up. But the reason why you don't see me crouching is because I don't have the animation, I have to make it. So, when you do see me, instead, it's the camera going back. So, I'm going to be working on the landscaping. Once I get that going, I'm also going to be working on the animation part. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get out of here, and then I'm going to save what I have right now. Okay. So, it's saved. And now, I'm going to go off camera when you're watching the story. And then I'll see you guys in once I uh, did more of the landscape. So, I'm going to go off camera right now. And then go off microphone. And I'm going to be watching more of the tutorial. And I will also be doing, like, making it as well. So, you know, to kind of sit back, relax, if you guys want to watch, that's cool. If you guys don't, that's also cool. I appreciate you guys stopping by. So, I'm going to go off microphone right now and start working on it. Okay, so I'm going
Hey guys. <clears throat> so I figure I figure I give you guys uh, an idea of what I'm doing here because I know most of you or some of you or um, maybe all of you uh, have no idea what I am doing. So I just wanted to tell you uh, I am basically setting up. The, the textures of my grass. So I'm adding, like, I'm literally making the grass and I'm also making the dirt texture. So what I am basically doing is turning this, like this blank part of the, you know, the checkerboard land, I'm changing that to make it look like this. And I'm trying to make it like grass. So, if you've seen my uh, previous stream, I actually had that made, but it wasn't great, it wasn't really good, it was not professional, um, and it wasn't really, it just didn't look all that great. So, what I wanted to do, the reason why I changed from Unreal Engine 5 to Unreal Engine 4, it's like I said before, uh, I changed it because when I was making all that stuff, I was making such a big world, it, it was uh, crashed. So, I don't think Unreal Engine 5 is ready for that yet because it just came out, it's the early access. So, I decided to downgrade to Unreal Engine 4. It's so basically the same. And you can really make, um, you have all everything you need, uh, you know, you can have, like, the textures, um, you know, the movement, the controls, all of it is basically the same. The only difference with Unreal Engine 5 is that there's more materials. There's more materials, there's more tools, there's more, uh, controls, uh, there's a lot more, actually, but... It's still pretty much the basic same idea. So I figured, okay, that would be fine with me. And I already know a little bit of it. Uh, so I figured, why not just do Unreal Engine 4? So basically what I'm saying is, I thought I'd give you an idea of what I'm doing. So I'm basically building the, the graph right here and trying to apply that to the land. Because right now, I'm using the, the default settings of what the land is, since it has nothing on there. So what I'm doing is basically... Oh, that's not it. There we go. It's basically adding all the textures, so like the grass, the ground of the grass, 
the dirt of the grass. I mean, the dirt, the ground, the dirt of the ground. So what I'm also trying to do, I'm making the grass first, and I'm making the dirt, and I'm gonna try to merge it together. So once I merge them together, and I go into my landscaping mode, I could do the material work, I could paint like the dirt on there, I can make the mountains, I can blend it, I can do all that stuff. And speaking of blending, what I am doing is I'm using the grass here, the grass layer, I made a layer blend. I'm making the layers of the land. So what I'm making right now is I'm making the grass layer, and I'm also making the dirt layer. But I need the textures. So what I'm doing is I'm making the texture of the grass. I'm making the texture of I'm making the texture of the dirt. So that's what I'm doing. And in order for me to have a layer, I gotta have the texture. So you know, if you are in the water, like you're looking at water on like I don't know Google Maps or something, you will notice if you really look. Like if you're taking a picture of it, you can see the title of like a photo and it doesn't make it look all that real. Um, what I'm doing is basically that and then once I'm done with that, I can smooth the tiling to make it look like an actual, like a real graph. Like real graph, real hills. Um, so that is what I am doing. Okay, so I'm going to be watching the tutorial and I'm going to be talking throughout what I am doing. So basically, like I said, I was just making like the textures of pretty much everything. So, and you guys will see the results once I am done with it. Because right now you have probably have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. And that's okay, you know, that's totally fine. Um, but I just thought I'd give you an idea of what I am doing. So, that's basically what I'm doing. Said, I am 
looking at what he is doing and what he's going to do. Okay, so. I'm going to connect. I am going to connect this. I'm going to connect this here. And I'm going to bring it down to the grass. So I'm going to do that there. And really, I, what I'm doing, guys, I'm adding the roughness, the strength, and how much shine and the texture. And I'm gonna add like, I'm gonna make sure it's not too much like reflecting on the sun. So, for example, like right here, you can see like how much it shines. And what I'm going to do, I'm gonna try to make this like look as real as I can. So, what I'm gonna do is, what I added here is like the chords of like. So like the heat, you know, and like how much of it is like bouncing off to the ground. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna just for the grass and dirt, not the texture. So if I were to go to the layer blend, and then I'm gonna go into the properties, and then I'm gonna go here. So I'm gonna click, I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna go to the layer blend here. Click on that, and then I'm going to go into the properties, and the properties will be do this, and then so I did all this grass, and then I did all this strip. So I'm going to do for that now. And I'm going to control W. Control W for to duplicate the layer blend. So basically, I'm just duplicating what I did. So I'm gonna do Control W. Go right here. Fit in. 
I should see that right here. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. I might stream for a longer time tonight, guys. I actually might stream for a longer time. Uh, because, um, I have my day off today and I was thinking about just streaming for a while and go from there. Uh, not sure how long, but we'll see. When you so, uh, did the music stop? Yep, it stopped. Book okay. with Expedia? Oh. Yep, the music stopped, so hang on a second, let me try and get the music back on. Okay, there we go, the music is back on. Oh, is this not copyright? I hope it's not copyrighted. Oh, whatever. Don't care. Uh, anyway. It's just not copyrighted, so that's good. Anyway. So, if I go, so, like, after, where was I? Oh, okay. So, I go here, and I do the same thing what I did to the top one. So, the top one is for this here. So, for example, this would be for the grab. Now I'm going to do the dirt. So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to connect this RGB to the layer grass. That's what I'm going to do here. And then the same thing goes for the dirt. So what I am doing basically is connecting the layer blends to the textures. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing what I did for the grass. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the dirt. So what I'm gonna do here and connect this RGB to the layer dirt. So that's what I did right there. And then, then what I'm going to do now that I have done that, I'm going to connect the layer blend to normal. So basically I'm gonna connect, hit this guy here, click it, and then I'm gonna connect to the normal. So I'm gonna drag the layer blend here, not the top one, but the second one. So I'm gonna connect this guy to the normal. And you should see now the shine from the sun is now not as bright. So, you should see some roughness. So, that being said, let me do this. Let me, guys, let me show you. Let me show you guys something. Let me show you what to do now. Now that I have done that, we're gonna go. We're going to try to get our normal map. So what we're going to do is I'm going to type in. I know you guys can't see me typing things in. I'm going to figure out why you guys can't see me typing things in. Maybe I have to connect that with the recording part. But anyway, I'm going to type in constant. So I'm going to type in constant. And then you should see this. This guy right here. And then the little hero right here. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move it so where I have space. And then I'm gonna get 
there something else. So what I'm doing, you guys, is I'm creating my basic layer, like, land. I'm making two layers. I'm making a grass layer, and I'm making a dirt layer. So what I'm doing is I'm going to move this guy, actually. I'm going to move him here, and we're going to connect him to where it says metallic. So basically, that just gives you an idea of what this is. So I'm going to connect this guy to metallic. You don't really need it, but I just put it there so I know what this is. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do that there. So, and you should see it's starting to change. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something different. Uh, well, not different. I'm going to add some more stuff to this. And I am going to actually duplicate it. But I'm going to change the value of it. So what I mean is I'm going to go click on this. I am going to go click on this. And you guys, you should see the value here. The material, expression, constant, and that is what this is. So you should see the value. And right now the default level is at 0.0. .0. But we're gonna we're gonna change that. But for right now, it's gonna stay there. So what and then what I want to do is I want to duplicate it. I want to duplicate the constant. That's what I'm gonna do. And before we do that, let me move this a little bit closer. So then I have some space for when I want to duplicate it. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna move it right there just for right now. And I'm gonna get out of here and then I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna do another content. So um now I would have a different constant so I thought I was going to duplicate it, so instead I'm going to get another one. Uh, instead of doing that, because if I duplicate it, it's just going to be the same thing. It won't be something different. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to click on here, and then I'm just going to type another constant in here. Because we don't want to duplicate it. We want to change the value. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type in constant another time, and then I'm going to do that and I should get constant. Yes, there we go. So now, now is when we want to change the value. We want to change the value to make it look more rough. So what we're going to do, we're going to do this. We want the grass to not have so much shine. So, we're going to change the value to 0.9. We're going to change the value number to 0.9. And the reason, again, this is why I did not want to duplicate it. If I duplicated it, we won't be able to change the value. I mean, we could, but it would still be kind of the same. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to type point, and then I'm going to type nine. So point nine, and there we go. You should see a little bit of difference. So, and then what I'm going to do here, I'm going to move these, actually, I'm going to move this a little bit more down. And then I'm going to do the same here. And then I'm going to move this guy down because we're also going to be adding 
some more stuff here. We're gonna need some more space. So, what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go back here. And then... Because we don't want the reflection to have a lot of reflection. So... We, we, when you're on the graph, you don't want it, want it to be really shiny in a lot of places, and we want it, we, we just don't want it to get messed up. So, and speaking of making sure we don't mess things up, we are going to comment on the point nine, and then we're going to add a constant vex, a constant vex, and when we do that, we're going to do, and how we do that actually, um, I am going to go back into the comment here, and I'm going to move this here, and what I want to do is I'm going to hold here, and then I'm going to go to here and comment this, and then I'm going to type in graph, so you should see that there. So I have graph right there, and now we don't want to connect it quite, quite yet because if we connect it, it won't be the same, and I think it will kind of mess it up. So instead, we're going to hold one and then left click. So, and that's a shortcut for inserting the constant vector. And what this does, I'll show you. So we're going to do hold one and then we're going to hold one and then left click and then you get another constant vector. So, and then we're going to move this here and then what we want to do What this is going to do, I, I'm going to show you. Oh, and you know what? Before I do that, I just thought of doing this instead. I wanted to comment on that so I know what this is. So this constant vector here is going to be the dirt. The first one here is going to be the grass. So this is going to be the dirt here. And then I'm going to type in dirt. And type in dirt here. So I'm going to do right there. And it should be good. So now I'm going to click on that. And then we're going to change that to also... We're going to change the value to 0.9 as well. We're not going to change the metallic value because we need that to be at zero. But we will change the dirt value. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into value here. And then type in 0 0.9. And then we're going to do that. So you can't, you are noticing, you should notice that it's going to be more rough and not as shiny. So basically, it's not reflecting off the ground too much. So, here's what we're going to do. Yeah, I, I apologize for the not so great intro. That's because I didn't know what to say right away and I was trying to think of like, something great and uh, it just kind of came together. So. I was dying for that, you guys. I was just trying to figure out what I was doing and what to say. So, let me go back to the dirt. And then let's go back into the layer blend. Now, we're going to do something pretty cool. We are going to duplicate it. Now, this is the time when we duplicate it. Remember when I said we shouldn't duplicate it before? That's because if we did, it wouldn't do anything. It would just be the same. But now, 
if we duplicate it, things will be a little bit different. So if I do a control W again, and nothing has changed yet, but that's because I haven't connected anything yet. So well, let me do, let me do this. still going to be at point Okay guys, so now we are going to click on We're going to do this, we're going to actually So right now we As of right now we don't need to do anything at the moment because we basically set everything up. This is the entire setup of the grass and texture and the dirt and texture uh, layout. So we just set up everything that we needed. We're gonna also need a few more things before we start adding everything else. So I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna go to apply And then I'm going to also hit save. So now let's go back into here. And now you guys, you should see 
the layer, the two paint layers that we just made, you should see this. This is the material that I have just created. So now if I go, if I go to my stuff, actually no, not my stuff. If I go into starter content, and if I go into materials, and I go into my own materials, and my own materials, the ones I just created, and this is the material right here. This is what we just built over here. This is our material layout here in the blueprint area. So now let's go back into here, the world. And then what I want to do to double check to make sure is save all.
now we have officially created the first process of the graph material. So now I have some sort of land going here. And I know it's a little bit shiny, but that's okay. I'll save that for another time. I will fix that somehow. So this is what I have so far. We have officially created a brand new material for grass and dirt. So now, if I click out of here, and if I go back into select mode, and then we're gonna go into world setting. Back you earn on your credit card at the end of your first Jeez, how many ads are going to be playing? Discover's accepted at 99% of places in the U.S. that take credit cards. Learn more at discover.com slash yes. 2021 Nielsen Report. Limitations apply. Sorry, guys. I wish I figured out how to make it so that when the ads play, I will have ads for my screen. So then I, I don't know how to do that, but I don't know. Anyway, now I have officially created a dirt layer on top of a grass layer. So if I want to add dirt to my grass, I can do that. So something like that. So, but for right now, go back into here, and just to test things out. So now I am, I have grass and dirt for my world. 
not at the, the grass itself. And, well, actually, I do. I just have like the ground grass. I don't actually have the grass yet. But that, I will be doing that very shortly. I will be adding the grass to the ground as well. I'm not going to add any of the hills yet, okay, I'm going to save that for something else. Thank you. 
We're gonna add... I think I want to add another component. So... Let's go...
do, do, do. Oh, okay, I'll just save that for a different time. Okay. Now we're going to go back into changing the settings so it can look a little bit better. change the dirt and the grass to 2.2 on the mapping scale. So what I mean is, I'm going to go back into here. I'm going to click on this, click, and then drag for the two of these. Then go to the mapping scale and then 2.0. And then So let's make that 5.0. Now hit 5.0 and then hit apply. Okay. 
So if you will see. Let's go back to the texture. Actually, let's, let's play this. Look all that back. The only thing is this circle thing here that I'm not sure what to do with. But I think that's what this is. Fear reflection capture. That's what this is. Okay, so, yeah, that's how you get rid of that. I gotcha. So, I don't really want that. Takes care of uh, the So We have officially created all that we need for the landscape. And we officially created the layer blend for the dirt and the grass. So now we have to add the grass. I'm gonna save that speed, the, the grass, the touch, I'm gonna save the grass, the hill, the mapping for a different time because now I 
want to actually add some combat and some more animation so that when I do have the landscaping, it would be a lot, like, it would look a lot better. But for right now, I just wanted to get that first part of the landscaping. So, now let's, I'm gonna watch something else. And inside. Sorry guys. So now, now that we actually have some sort of land, like some sort of world, now I want to add the leveling experience and skill points. And I also want to add a skill tree as well. And then I'm going to add more animations for my character so that when I have the world that I want and what I'm working on, he can go and actually explore. So what I am doing here I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go back into the content browser and then I'm gonna go into my characters. I'm gonna go into player. And then I'm gonna go into find or not find. I'm gonna go to Fred. My character, Fred, is actually the character that I am working on. So, and I have already added a couple of variables. Actually, I added a whole bunch of variables. Uh, the first, the all of these variables right here, all of this, this top part here is all of this. It's all of this here. And then I added all of the coding, what I was showing you guys earlier today. I added all the coding to these variables. And that was how I was able to get this. That's how I was able to get the stamina bar, the health bar, and the magic bar. And So now, I also will go into, so if I go into viewport, this is how I got the character. I just click on here, and I go into SK underscore mannequin, and that is this. That's like the default setting for a mannequin of what I knew, the character that I knew originally it was the third person character, but I changed it to my own character called Fred, my character. And that's how I got this. And then that's how I was able to get this. This here is actually the event graph. This is where I've been adding all of my stuff. Same thing for the material. This is when I was making the material. This is in the event graph. So, this is what I have here for the event graph of the material. But if I go into Fred, my character, this is Fred's character. This is his event graph for movement, jumping, sprinting, uh, crouching, uh, HUD displacement, uh, head, and I figured out what HUD is actually short for. Uh, it's called for head UI displacement, or something like that. I think that's what it's called. Um, but anyway, that's how I was, that's how I was able to get the health bar that you see here, and actually, what I'm going to do 
I'm gonna go into the UI game HUD. That's how I was able to make this. So I'm gonna change this, the magic, to instead of bold, I like the bold italic. That's what I like there. And I'm gonna hit compile and then I'm gonna hit save. So now, So that's how I was able to get what you see here. A different future starts with you. That's why GoDaddy does more to help you find oh, I You don't can create care yourself about and get found online. Daddy. Any small business can make a change. We need a new generation of thinking. Your way of thinking. Start different at GoDaddy.com. So, what I'm going to do now, you guys, I'm going to be adding the level experience. And then the skill trees. And then I'm going to be adding more of the combat. So, I'm going to be making a skill tree system, a level up experience, the current XP right here, you know, when you go to your, like, if you want to go to somewhere where you can unlock something. So, like, a shop, like your current XP, your points, your current points, and what you need to get. So, I'm going to be adding that in the combat system and I'm going to be making animation so I'm also going to be doing that so what I'm going to do I'm going to hit save all before I do anything else, just to be safe. So I'm gonna go back to content. I'm gonna to try to push another couple of hours, guys. Let me do this. So what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm going to go, I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to go into Fred here. This is Fred's setup. This is his movement, his jumping, his crouching, his, the mouse movement, the game, the game pad rotation, and then the hug displacement. This is his blueprint. This is what makes him him. Yeah. 
go and I'm gonna work on these variables. I already have some of these variables here. I have the player level, the skill points, the current XP, and needed XP. So,
Hey guys, how's it going? Hang on a minute, you guys. Oh boy. Hey guys, I just thought I'd give you an update of what I am doing and an update for how long I will be streaming. So basically what I am doing is, guys, I am making a skill tree, not just a skill tree, but what I'm making right now, you guys, I'm making, uh, so, like, your experience points. I'm making, like, when you level up in the game, you go into your, like, shop 
or your menu or like I don't know your like crafting shop or something or little area where you um basically you level up your character so basically what I am making is I'm adding skill points and I'm adding a, a, a event system experience system where you go throughout the levels and you level up your character that's basically what I am doing here I'm adding like the extra like your point system your experience point system so I created multiple variables here I added the XP uh, like you know how much you'll be getting and also how much you will have and then also when you walk up to an object you'll be you can pick up something and then you get points for it something like when you're crafting you get points for crafting or something like that or if you complete a level or an objective you get points or something like that. That is what I am creating right now. And as far as streaming goes, maybe another half an hour to an hour. But I'm getting hungry and I have some stuff to do around my place. And so I'm not sure if I want to keep streaming. I probably don't, but I'm going to do another half an hour to an hour of streaming. So. That being said, guys, uh, I'm gonna be what I'm gonna be doing during that time is right now I'm gonna be finishing up making the level experience, like going to different levels, adding like XP, like your points. They're basically creating the point system, the XP point system. So I'm creating a system of leveling up, basically. So that is what I am doing. So I thought I'm going to move that guy over here. So I'm basically adding like how much points you have right now and how much points that you need and how much you will get give away or take away or use. So that is what I am doing. Oh, nice. Getting ready for bed with soothing sounds. And of course, there's an ASMR video playing, even with your. All right, so I'm gonna connect. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna connect the add show point here. Hit set, and then. here, move that guy, basically I'm creating a blueprint for leveling up my character, and just leveling up in general. Okay, so, and then, 
I'm gonna do another XP, needed XP. Instead of setting it to set, I'm gonna set it to get. So I'm gonna click to get needed XP. attention to what I am doing so and that really does help watching something like that because there's a lot here so I'm watching two different people at once actually three different people at once uh, one I'm watching right now is Titanic Games uh, he does very well for tutorials. Uh, simple, straightforward, I can follow along. Um, really cool. Uh, um, I subscribe to you if you are watching. And keep up the good work. And I appreciate you making these tutorials. Because without these tutorials, um, yeah, I think I would struggle. <laughs> But this is something I want to do, so this is really cool, and I love your videos. Um, and also, I'm watching a couple other ones, I don't remember their name. But they're also really good too. So let me go into... I'm watching one for landscaping, and one for actually making the animations, and like the character itself. And I'm also watching one for learning like the coding. So, yeah. Um, I'm also trying to take, uh, at some point along the line, I'm not sure when, but I hope to take college courses for stuff like this, because I really want to do this, and I just, you know, I, I like doing it. However, the only thing I don't like is when I mess up the coding in general, and then sometimes it does scratch. The whole thing does scratch, and I have no idea why. Um, yeah, that's something I should look into. Um, but I'm not sure why. That's, and then you have to start completely over, which is frustrating. 
So that's why I decided to go to Unreal Engine 4 because so far it hasn't really done it that much and it's just easier to use. So. XP and then I do a compile and then I do save. This is basically what I did for everything else, except now I am using this for my experience song. So, and then I'm going to change the color here because I want, I don't want it to be blue. Oh, what should I change it to? Uh, let's see. Let's just make it yellow, I guess. Eh, I don't really like the yellow. I 
actually, I think that's gonna be the best bet. I think we're gonna have to make that a yellow. And then let's rename this to experience. Let's do create the binding. Oh, 
Oh, here, no, no, no. Here we go. It's gonna eat my. And then, so now after we got the binding, so after we get the binding, we would get the character reference. So now after that, now that we have the current reference, what we have right here, we need to get this current XP. So the current and see and we need to get that. So get that right there from what we created earlier. And then now we need to get the needed at see. So I just did that. And then let's just add a float. Oh, let me click on there. So now let's just add a float divided by a float. And let's just add that. And then let's put the needed FC into here. And then now let's add this to here. To the return value. So now you guys should see after I compile and save. Now you guys should see after I press play. There it is. There it is. I have created the progress bar. Actually, I have created the. Um, I have created the experience bar. I know it's kind of not set up right or correctly to begin with. I know I the intro was not the greatest, um, but I, that was because I didn't know what to say. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. We at least made some progress for what we have right now. Um, and now you guys know where I am at for my next stream. I'll be showing you what I have done for my experience bar, and I'll be showing you what I have done and or what I am still doing for my custom made animations for attacks, like combat system, and what else I have added to my character. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, and comment, and subscribe for more if you guys still like this stuff. If not, I am thinking about also not just doing streaming for just um, making this game. I'm thinking about just going back to playing games and chilling out if I'm not streaming. I mean, if I'm not making the game. So anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next stream. Thanks for watching, and make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys.